So what we're going to be looking at today is we're going to do a watercolor painting inspired by the artist we've been talking about, Emil Nold, the German Expressionist painter. And we're going to do watercolors, which is a medium that Emil would actually work in quite often. So in our last assignment, we actually did a study of some sunflowers where we did a mixed media, we did some collage, and we did some paint. And now what we're going to do is strictly a painting. So what, we, what we've started out with is I have paper here, and I've actually taped it down because I'm going to get it pretty wet, so the paper is going to want to sort of warp and like move around a little bit as it absorbs some of that water. So I've taped it down to stretch it out. So if you're working on your messy mat, I would actually not use your messy mat. I would tape it down to a table. And the paint we're going to use is water-based. So it'll wipe off if you get paint and water on the table. I'm going to take a large brush here. So I have that in a bucket nearby, so I'm going to show it to you. And I'm going to use that to wet the paper first. So I want everything to be watered down. So I'm not even going to pinch out the brush. So you'll notice I cleaned it out. I've got water on it. And I'm just going to start brushing this across the surface of the paper here. A little bit more. So I don't want my paper dripping wet, but I do want the surface of it wet. So I'm starting with a ground of water that I'll be working on top of. So y'all can see it's taken on a very shiny look to it because of the moisture that's on the paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant my poppies. So I'm going to start with the color that I would see in the middle. So now I have a small watercolor brush and I have my watercolor set nearby. So I'm going to turn this so you can see the colors that I'm starting to use. So I'm going to start out with yellow. So I'm going to load some yellow on here and I'm going to basically plant my poppy seeds into the painting and I'm going to do one here, that's not showing up the greatest, so I'm going to get a little bit more paint on there. And I'm going to put that down. And then I'm going to do another one. And you want to think about, like, some could be smaller, some could be bigger. So I have three. I'm going to do four. And you don't have to do yours in the same place I am, but I would suggest doing an odd number. So not stopping at four, but I'm actually doing five. All right, so I have those places on there, and that's where they're going to start. That's going to end up being the middle part of the flower. So now I'm going to do a second color in there. I'm going to do green, and I'm actually going to go inside that yellow. And you've probably noticed when you're doing this, since the paper's wet, the yellow's starting to move a little bit. And I want the green to do that, but I still want it to stay inside the yellow. So I'm actually going in there just with a small dot of that green. This could go a little darker, so I'm going to get a little more paint on there. And there I press down a little bit more. Here maybe I press down more. And then I'm going to get a little bit more green for this last one here. So you're going to get to this point, and we're going to look at one. Now, I know I want these to be flowers. I want it to be those red poppies that we looked at before when we were studying Emile's work. But what am I going to do to make it look like that red flower? So you're going to get to this point, and then we'll look at the next clip.